Welcome to our review on electromagnetic induction. So the first thing that we actually need to know is that if we move a wire in a magnetic field, then it will cut field lines. Now, as a result of that, we're going to end up with an induced potential difference being produced across that wire. Now, another way that we can actually achieve that is by making the magnetic field change around the conductor. So we've got to have some way of having the field lines cut, whether it be moving the wire or moving the magnet in some way. If we don't have our wire cutting field lines, then we won't induce a potential difference in the wire itself. So we've got three ways that we can actually increase the induced potential difference we're producing. The first is we can make the wire move faster. The faster the wire moves, then the more field lines will be cut in the same time. We can use a stronger magnetic field because as we established earlier on in this topic, stronger magnetic fields have a greater number of field lines and therefore the wire would cut a greater number of them by moving in the same amount. Or we could use more wire or more coils of wire. And again, that would have the effect of cutting more of those field lines in the same time frame. Now, once we've actually induced this potential difference, if that wire is connected into a circuit, then that's going to make a current flow. So when that current flows through the conductor, what we end up just seeing is a magnetic field is going to be produced. And if that wire is already in a magnetic field, then we generate a force that then acts on it. The one thing to bear in mind is that the magnetic field produced is going to be in the opposite direction to the field that produces the potential difference in the wire. Otherwise, the law of conservation of energy just couldn't be true. So it always has to be in the opposite direction. So one fun little experiment that you can play around with at home quite easily is if you've got something like a copper or an aluminium pipe and a strong magnet, then when you drop the magnet through that pipe, it won't fall at the speed you're expecting it to. Now, the reason for this is that as that magnet moves down the pipe, which is a conductor, then it induces the current to flow through it. Because the current produces a magnetic field and we're producing a magnetic field within an existing one, then what we see is we get a force and that force acts on our magnet and it means that the magnet falls much slower. So it's a good fun thing to show people and if you really wanted to, you could even turn it into a little bit of a cheat at a fairground games, I told my kids, that if you have the old hit the rat thing in the old fairground and you put a magnet in it and drop it through an actual aluminium or copper tube, it's never going to fall at the rate people expect and you can make yourself some easy quick cash by doing things like that.